Hi everyone, Miss Janine here, your grade 7 science teacher. For our today's science tutorial, we will discuss waves, its categories, types, and characteristics. Are you ready to learn with me? Let's start! It's almost summertime and we want to get rid of the heat. Some people love to go to the beach to either go swimming or just sit by the seashore and enjoy watching the waves. Perhaps you also enjoy throwing a stone in water and watch the ripple or waves as it goes bigger and bigger. Speaking of waves, we can also certainly see these waves in a rope or in playing a slinky. Waves refer to the disturbance that carries energy through matter or space that moves from one place to another. If you tie one end of a rope around a tree and jerk the other end ones, a disturbance will travel along the rope and a wave pulse will be produced. A wave pulse is a single disturbance, while a wave train is a series of disturbances. Waves can be classified according to its categories. The first one is mechanical wave. This wave requires a medium to transfer energy and it cannot travel through a vacuum. Examples are sound and ocean waves. On the other hand, we have electromagnetic wave. This wave does not require a medium to transfer energy. It can also travel through a vacuum. Examples are light, UV rays, and visible light. Mechanical waves can be classified according to the direction of motion of the particles of the medium. In longitudinal waves, the matter in the wave moves back and forth parallel to the direction of the wave. Some examples of longitudinal waves are the following, a wave in a slinky and a sound wave. In a transverse wave, the matter in the wave moves up and down at a right angle or perpendicular to the direction of the wave. Examples of transverse waves are the following, rope waves and water wave. Again, this is a difference between a longitudinal wave and a transverse wave. Let us now proceed with the characteristic of a transverse wave. Take note of the following terms. First, the highest part of a wave is called a crest, while the lowest part of a wave is called a trough. The height of a crest or depth of a trough measured from the equilibrium position is called the amplitude. The distance between a crest to crest or trough to trough is called a wavelength. That's it! Let us have a quick recap. In this video, we discuss waves. The categories of waves are the following. A mechanical wave which requires a medium to transfer energy and an electromagnetic wave which does not require a medium. The types of mechanical waves which are a longitudinal wave and a transverse wave and the characteristics of waves. Now, let's try answering a 5-item quiz about waves. You have a minute to answer. Good luck! Time's up! Let's check if your answers are correct. 
That's the end of our science tutorial. I hope that you've learned a lot and see you soon. Thank you for watching!